three. All right, all right. Day number, what is it, 900? <laughs> SIP. Now everybody's calling it SIP. We, get, we love acronyms, don't we, as human beings? Everything's an acronym. Now it's SIP. It's not, it's not shelter in place anymore. You know that, right? It's, it's SIP now. Let's all take a SIP. All right, everybody. Well, we're here with the wonderful Fatima, real estate guru extraordinaire, seasoned veteran ninja, Mm -hmm. and shooter assassin all that good stuff so today we're going to talk about what we call the covid hacks covid lending hacks yep so you've been hearing a lot about this right people taking or wanting to take some shortcuts to create mm -hmm. what i call phantom cash flow and mm -hmm. freeing up some money so i'm going to give you the mic lead it in tell me what you're here all right. So I haven't heard about, I haven't heard someone ask me that this in years since the last recession. Okay. I uh, know. So I had someone I know ask me, um, how, what if I refinance into an interest only loan? I immediately was like, no, <laughs> I don't care what. By the way, that's is. my answer too. Hold on. Let me check again. No, no, <laughs> yeah. no, 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 no. And you know, uh, you know, and then she was like, well, what if, you know, the money that I would save from that, um, I put that aside and, you know, I just pay my mortgage and I, you know, my equity will grow down the road and, you know, it's going to be my equity. Anyway, I'm like, are you kidding me? I go, no, absolutely no. I'm never going to do it for myself. I would never recommend it for anybody. I go, yeah, your equity is going high, but you know what? We are getting older. Do you want to be forced to sell? And if you do, if you decide to sell, okay, then great. You're going to have some money. But if you don't, I mean, you're going to go older and have a high payment. I go, that's just not the way we just do this. It's just, just not feasible. I was like, no, it's just not the way to go. I, it's, I don't care. So if anybody's encouraging it, and she said that other people were doing it too that she knew. And I, it was really concerning because they're setting themselves up for failure. She goes, one person has a $6,000 mortgage. Well, fuck, I mean, if, I'm sorry. Well, geez, if you have a $6,000 mortgage and you're only doing interest only, you're really, you're really setting yourself for failure if you can't afford it now. Absolutely. And by the way, when somebody says everybody else is doing it, that is not a good argument for anything, by the way. Other people are doing all kinds of crazy stuff. We're going to do that too. People are committing murder. We're going to do that. No, that is not a good argument. So let me unpack this thing for you guys. Okay. Sometimes what appears to be a blessing becomes a grenade. And this is one of those. Now, I am not poo pooing interest only loans. There's a place for every mortgage program for the most part. But mortgages are like shoes. Everybody has a different size, different width, different foot. So if you are encountering a transactionalist, meaning a person who all they care about is the transaction and getting paid, don't be surprised if they're just saying, mm -hmm, yep, no problem. Okay, but no problem for them becomes a problem for you. They get a commission check, you get a grenade, okay? Here's what I mean by this. Interest only are great if you are going to be in that property for a short period of time. Why? Because, and by the way, you're in a highly appreciating area. Why? Because it's really best use of your own funds, right? There's an opportunity cost for everything. The same thing with your money. So a dollar can't be in two places. So let's say you are going to stay in your property and you know for a fact you're going to relocate, you can some kind of life event is going to take you out of the area and you're going to sell that property. Notice I'm not saying you're going to rent it and keep it. You're going to sell it because you're going to use those proceeds to then relocate. Then it makes sense to do an interest only. Why? Because why pay debt? You're not really going to pay principal. You're not, right? So might as well get an interest only payment and let the difference between what you owe which is not gonna change because you're only paying interest. And what the property is worth by the time you sell is what you now take with you, right? It's the best use of funds. So the difference between a principal and interest payment and interest only, if you put it into that IRA that you have never created, or you are using that money to fund your 401k, right? Because that's pre-tax and hopefully your employer's contributing, that is smart use of your money. But to use an interest only loan for long term because you just want to free up some cash because you're afraid of Armageddon, which is not going to happen. Okay. 
doesn't make any sense. Now, I will tell you what does make sense in this situation. If you want to have some cash, right, you don't have any, why don't you go get an equity line of credit? That is a second loan. Doesn't affect the majority of the debt on that property, meaning your first loan. That makes sense for a couple of reasons. One, because an equity line is like a credit card. You only pay on what you use. Secondly, the Fed has lowered artificially those rates. The federal funds rate kept being cut. And so equity lines of credit are very cheap. Here's the other part that most people don't know. A lot of credit unions are judged financially and their strength is judged by the number of equity lines that they write a year. Most people don't know that. So guess what? There's a huge incentive for them to be issuing equity lines of credit. And normally they give amazing discounts and offers up front, like yeah. maybe no interest for six months or whatever the case may be. Their rates are stupid low. So that is a strategy that makes sense to psychologically ease your mind that there is no Armageddon, but at the same time, you get access to funds. As a matter of fact, I tell people, you should have an equity line of credit, even if there isn't a virus. Just right. have it there just in case, because you don't pay on it unless you use it. You pay to play, right? And the rates are super low, like I mentioned before. That makes sense, Fatima? Absolutely. And, but the only thing, too, there has to be a plan, right? So if someone yeah. has an equity line, you have to make sure you have a plan. You have a plan to figure out how you're going to pay that back. And if you find yourself just starting to borrow against your home and you find yourself in a financial situation, we, you know, you talk to your trusted advisors, you know, talk to your realtor, talk to your mortgage agent, talk to people that are financially, you know, that you trust financially, your financial advisor, talk to people and, and talk about a plan. Because if this is, you know, your equity in your home and long-term, it doesn't look like you're going to be able to afford it. That's, a, that's something you, you think about it. You think about, okay, there's options. I mean, yeah. But setting yourself up for failure and if you're starting to see yourself in a position where it's getting tough, those are some real conversations to have um, with your team of people that you trust. I couldn't agree more. Look, your financial tribe, that's going to dictate your net worth and a good chunk of your financial happiness. It's just the fact. Don't try to be, you know, a jack of all trades, master of none. You know, surround yourself with the people who are experts in those different, what I call, pieces of your financial puzzle. All right. How do people get a hold of you, Fatima? All right. So I can be reached at 415-756-4418. And just know that we're here to answer a lot of questions. Ed and I actually met at the last downturn. We met around the recession period last time. At we an educational event. <laughs> an educational Mind event. you. Exactly. And the thing is, we've been through this. So we've seen a lot of things that have happened in the past. And, and that's why when it comes to like credit, you know, Ed used to run his own credit um, firm. And, you know, when you have, you know, we, we know a ton of people. So if you find yourself in a position that's binding or you're, you're, you foresee that things are not gonna last for a while, or you find yourself going to be in a really big financial problem, talk to us, talk to people that you trust, but no, we are here for you. That's why we're doing these, these um, you know, we're doing these different, videos because these are real conversations we're having with people these are real topics that are happening today and we just want to make sure that you feel like you have the resources available and how do they get a hold of you mister very well said 415-368-1149 so if you're thinking about getting an interest only loan you're not going to keep it and you're going to keep it for the long term do me a favor call fatima so she can tell you no don't do it <laughs> and then call me so i can say the same thing no don't do it that we're education and advice based. So on that note, two favors. One, click the subscribe button and to the right of there is the little bell that will notify you every time we drop some of these videos with educational information. And secondly, please share these videos because you never know how many people might be right there making that decision and later on that grenade that I just described a couple of times actually detonates. So please Absolutely. help us spread the word. All right, everybody, stay strong and stay indoors and stay healthy. Yes. Take care. Okay, bye.